Hey guys, this is Sala. Today I'm going to show you how to set up port forwarding to manually configure your DVR for remote access. Before we begin, you want to make sure that your router is connected to your DVR with an Ethernet cable like so. If you haven't already, please make sure that you watch our UPnP video for remote access setup first. It is very important that you understand that port forwarding should only be used if universal plug and play does not work for you, but you should always try to do it first. You can click here to jump to that video now. So here we are on the live view screen of our DVR. Make sure you have a pen and paper handy. The first thing you do is left click to open up the main menu. Under settings, we click on network. And on the TCP IP page here, we're gonna look at the IP address and write this down. This will be used later on when we're port forwarding on our router. Now we jump to the connection page and here we write down the TCP port the UDP port, and the HTTP port. Next, I'm going to show you how to find a specific guide based on the model number of your router so you can have step-by-step -step instructions on how to port forward properly. Once you've written down your router's brand name and model number, all we've got to do is open up a web browser and go to portforward.com. Now we're going to drill down into the port forwarding guide section and it's going to pull up a list of different manufacturers for you to choose from. For this example, we're going to be looking at a Linksys router. Just close out of this advertisement and just go down and find your model number for your router. On this page, make sure you click on the default guide and this is going to pull up exactly what you need to find the steps you need to take to port forward on your router. It will show you the IP address you need to type in to access it. It will even give you your default username and password. And below, you'll find that there are also screenshots to show you what the pages look like on your router so you can see exactly what you need to do. Now I'm going to show you what this process looks like on our router. So here we are again on the computer. First thing we're going to do is open up a web browser like Chrome and type in the IP address to access the router login page for our router. In this case, we're going to be clicking over to the Applications tab to find our port range forwarding page. First thing I want to do is punch in the HTTP port, which was 37776. Do this for both the start and end ports, and enter the IP address that we got earlier from the DVR. Here the protocol for HTTP can be TCP or both, but in this case we're just going to leave it on TCP. Make sure you click Enable, and now we can go ahead and enter our TCP port, which was 37777. Do the same thing for the end port, and once again enter the same IP address for the DVR. In this case, TCP is the right protocol, and we'll click Enable. Finally, we're going to enter our UDP port, which was 37778. Punch in the IP address one more time, and in this case, the protocol will be UDP. Make sure to click Enable, and now we hit OK to affect the changes. That's it for the router portion of the port forwarding process. Now all we need to do is go ahead and confirm that the remote access is working. Here we are one final time on a computer. This is what it's going to look like for you when you're away from home. First thing you do is just open up an internet browser. Here I'm going to be punching in the DDNS URL that you should have gotten from the UPnP video. Make sure to include the HTTP port after the colon. And when you see your login screen come up, that means that it works. All we've got to do now is just punch in your username and password. At first, none of your cameras will show. All you have to do is click Open All on the bottom left. Once you see all your cameras come up, that means you're done.
Thanks for watching guys, be sure to check out our other videos.